How to use TikTok for beginners. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can use TikToks as a beginner. Now before we start, what is TikTok? TikTok is a productivity and task management application that helps users to organize their tasks, to-do lists, reminders, and color their events. It is available as a mobile app on both Android and iOS platform, as well as a web application that can be accessed through any browser. TikTok offers a various features such as the ability to set up priority levels for tasks, add subtasks, set due dates and reminders, collaborate and share lists with others, and create recurring tasks. User users can also use tags and labels to organize their tasks and filter them based on the different criteria. Additionally, TikTok has a feature called Pomodoro, which can help users focus on a task by dividing their work into 25-minute intervals with short breaks in between. TikTok is a freemium app, which means that the users can use basic features for free, but some advanced features require paid subscriptions. Now to begin our tutorial, we're simply first going to click on this button, Get Started, it's free. Or if you want to download this application, you simply click on this button. But right now, we're going to click on Get Started. Now this will redirect us to the sign up page of TikTok where we can enter our nickname, email, and password. We could also sign up with Google, Apple, Facebook, or your Twitter account. Now after signing up, we would be redirected to this home page of TikTok. Now as you can see, we're, now as you can see, we can start right away and we can see all the different things we can use in TikTok. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our icon over here and then we would be able to see this options over here where we can sync this most likely with your mobile phone. If you have TikTok installed on your phone, you could see the settings, statistics. You could upgrade to premium account if you want or you can sign out. Now over here what we're seeing right now is under the task options. You could also click on the calendar view which would allow us to see the different tasks we have, but in a calendar view. But if we want to use this option, we would need to upgrade to premium. You can, can, you can click on search to easily help us search our different tasks. What we're going to do right now is to go back to the task area over here. Now, as you can see here on the left side, we have the options today, next seven days, inbox, the list, tags, filters, and then the completed and the trash. Now, if we click on the today, we would be able to see the different tasks we have set for ourselves or others in the today area. We could click on this button over here, which says more, where we can hide this category completely. We could also show the details. We can show that countdown, or we could also print and then print title and its content. Now to add a task on this today option over here, we could simply we could simply click on this area over here, and then we could type in the name of our task. For example, create YouTube tutorials tutorials, just like that, and then we can hit on enter, and then this will automatically add our task into this today category. You can also add as much task as you want for yourselves and then it will all appear on this area. Now, if we add two more, like say hi, like edit videos, it's like that. We could see this little icon on the left side of our task where we can rearrange our different tasks. As you can see here also, we can see the inbox and then the today. There's also three dots on the right. There's also three dots on the right where if we click that, you can see this options over here. Could set the date to today we could set the date to tomorrow next week or custom we could also change its priorities from red yellow blue and then none we could also click on add sub tax we can pin it we can click on what do we could move it to a different area we could add task we could duplicate it copy the link convert to note or we can delete this task Now to add the subtask, you can simply click on this 
this will create a mini task under the original task and we could simply put here research topic material just like that and as you can notice here on the right side we can add descriptions over here and we could also click on the checklist just like that when you finish a task you can simply do what i just did by simply clicking on the box over here this will make our task be moved to the category completed now if you make a mistake and you want to undo this and if you want to unfinish a task you can simply click on the box once again to the today area over here now we could do the same thing to the next seven days by simply by doing the same concept and as you can see here in the inbox we can see all the different tasks that we have now as you can see we have a list over here list is used to organize and categorize your tasks and notes and to add the list we're simply going to click on this additional icon over here then we can name it to let's say for example minor task we can change the color by clicking on this option we can change it to red just like that we can change the folder we want it to be located on we could add a new folder we can change the type file from task list to note list we can enable we could click on hidden if you want to hide this and after that you can also click on this where we can change the icon of our list to any emoji that we want for example this then we're going to click on save and as you can see here on the left side we have a new list just like that now we can also click over here so we can add tasks to our newly created list like for example export a video then click on enter and then our video exporting task is now under our list now we could also do the same with tags by simply clicking on the add and we could change the percent tag and add the name like that we could also add filters to, to our task but we would need to upgrade to premium now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on upgrade now now this will redirect us to this page where we can upgrade our tick tick account and the annual plan for tick tick is 30 dollars per month and this will enable the full calendar functionality we can customize the filters we can create more and achieve more we can keep everything under control we could also track our progress and a lot more and a lot more like remind for check items calendar widgets estimate promo premium themes premium white noise and quick ball for android and that's it guys that's how you can use tick tick for your daily task or your task for the next seven days and many more and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching